And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Averrosen Fury. Now today what we're going to be doing is going to be testing out decks for the seasonal tournament. Of course we're also going to need to be ranking up for that because we're not quite qualified yet. We got to get in the top 700 in Masters rank and I think I'm around like 900-ish or something right now. But anyway, um, if you watch the um, stream from Sunday, from Rank Up Sunday, uh, I'm pretty set on Jarvan, Jarvan Shen for one deck. Uh, like, that's like 100%. We're playing Jarvan Shen for one deck. And I'm pretty set on Azir Nasus for my other deck. I just really want to play Mono Shirima. Um, and I like the deck quite a bit. I'm, I'm pretty set on that one. But it could change if we find two other decks we love. And then uh, besides that, for the third deck, um, I'm really thinking about three other things. Really thinking about like a Heimer, Zoe, Targon, PNZ kind of deck. Um, the list we played on Sunday didn't necessarily go real well, but I I need I can uh, tune that up a little bit. I I already have I have a lot of ideas of like things to change and try that one again. So we'll try that one again here soon. Um, or uh, Shivana Dragons, which we didn't get to on Sunday, but we're going to be playing today. Or this uh, kind of Sejuani Battle Fury style deck, which I've I've always had a lot of success with these styles of decks. And so we're going to be trying out three different versions of kind of the same deck today. So we're going to be playing, uh, calling this one Averroes and Fury, because this one's going to be with Averroes and Outriders and going the Allegiance with Freljord. Only Sejuani is the only champion here, and you know, with Battle Fury. Uh, splashing Noxus just for Culling Strike. And then uh, we're going to be playing two versions with Shurima, one with Renekton, one with Sivir. And trying both of those out today, too. So, you know, like... Uh, this, this is testing, right? You know, we're testing for our tournaments. So we're not playing a huge variety of decks right now um, and, and trying that out. Okay, so with this deck, uh, we're going to be playing, like I said, Noxus for Culling Strike. There's lots of, like, Thresh around, um, which is a perfect Culling Strike target. And then just lots of other good Culling Strike targets. Maybe, you know, like uh, Shen and other things like that. Plus, we're going to be playing, like, uh, a couple Iceville Archers, maybe a Three Sisters for a Flash Freeze. We'll be playing some other cards like that, like Troll Chant that can uh, give the minus two power. That can also help Culling Strike out. Uh, it'll be interesting to, you know, whenever we draw these, you know, let's see how good Culling Strike is. Another card that I was really considering with this, so uh, this list here is from Kordak, a viewer in uh, chat who's been playing this list. But I've, I also kind of think about maybe just splashing Exhaust because of how, uh, how like, these kind of units, we get really large units and a lot of them with Overwhelm. And being able to uh, challenge a specific enemy and make them block how you want could be really powerful. So that's going to be something while we play these ga games, think about uh, is Culling Strike better than Exhaust as just a, a one of, or like, you know, the three of splash card uh, for this deck. All right, so let's get to it. Let's play some games. Let's Overwhelm with Averroes and Fury. Okay, so we're playing against Lissandra Trundle for our first game. Now, um, I am going to say that like this is Lissandra Trundle is the deck that I'm planning on banning. Whenever you play the tournament, your opponent brings three decks. You can ban one of the decks. If my opponent plays Lissandra Trundle, this is my number one deck that I'm going to be banning. So this isn't uh, necessarily a matchup that's going to matter too much. You know, so even if we lose this... Um, this this is not a matchup I'm planning on playing. And basically the reason for that is I just always have the... I just have the worst record against <laughs> Lissandra oh, Trundle uh, with the decks that I normally play. I play like these mid range -y decks. Uh, they're value decks that I'm planning on trying to be good against aggro. And the... Uh, Ready the torches. And when you're, when you're having like mid range -y decks that are slanted towards being good against aggro... In general, you know, like that's not really what this deck is. But I'm just saying that kind of style of deck in general, it's really tough to stop in turn eight. You know, big turn eight combo deck also. Well, uh, this was like the best uh, Omen Hawk possible. Hitting Ruthless Raider on two, Trapper on three. So we're hoping that that top card is that Enraged Yeti that will now turn into an 8-8 eight, eight, um, Overwhelm for one mana with this combination. Because it's 50-50 shot whether it's the top card or not. The sentries are perfect though. 
that's a great, great blocker. Save them the four life, draw them the card. That's that's the best card they can have. Okay, it was the Enraged Eddie. Very good. So Ruination's a, uh, that's an option, right? Like, <clears throat> if I if I open attack, it's really easy to kill this 3-1, and they, they take 8, they go to 7. But I think that Ruination's kind of unlikely, and that I should just play the Wild Claw and put, put just more pressure on them. With a deck like this, you want to just continue to ask questions and force them to have the best answers possible. Okay. They did. So, you know, hindsight. Should have open attacked, but... That shows why the uh, the two drop is so good, and them having the two different two drops, because they got two extra cards in their deck. You know, they slowed me down, um, you know, dealing, you know, saving that four life. And they also got two extra cards into their deck. And we saw that, that Ruination was their very last card that they had drawn. They found that because of the two drops. Okay, Cork says that with the Lissandra Trundle decks, 31% of them played just one copy of Ruination. Okay, never mind. Seventy-eight percent run one ruination. Okay. Stand and fight. All right, so I'm gonna have them block, and while I'm calling striking this thing to kill it. So, because again, so you know these things have overwhelm, so they'll still deal the damage. Because instead of Doing the cooling strike first and then giving them priority and letting them, you know, do something else like play another trundle for a blocker or something like that. I want to do this during combat. Correct. The attack doesn't usually go through with that, but beca because you have because we have overwhelm, the attack does go through. But normally it would not. It was right on my tail. A chill in the air. So yeah, they had no matron in hand. We need to. Uh, we need to hope they have no kind of frostbite cards, and no vengeance, and we have to top deck battle fury. So this is um, almost certainly a win for them, but there's a very small chance. Okay, that will not do it. All right, so ruination got me. It was a risk, but. Okay, Thresh Nasus. So this is a deck that we will be playing, right? Like I said, like the Alessandra Trundle matchup, yes, we lost it. Our opponent had the Ruination. They got us. But that's not a matchup I'm going to be playing against in the tournament because I'm going to be banning that matchup. This would be a matchup I'd be playing against. This is one where we really want, you know, an Overwhelm unit with Battle Fury and we really want Cooling Strike because this is the reason to play Cooling Strike is because of Thresh. So I think I'm just gonna keep Omen Hawk as my only card to keep in the in here. Yeah, let's look for Culling Strike. The Tavern Keeper was the other one that I 
That that was the card that I was really pausing about was the Tavern Keeper. But I think finding Culling Strike and an Overwhelm unit in Battle Fury is just a little too important. got the Hawks. We don't really want to make the trades. Making the trades does like clear the board for Thresh, which, which is good. But then it gives them Slays, which is bad. So still hoping to find, hoping to find Culling Strike. We have some big six drops though. Hmm. It's probably not like is it is it really important that if if they have that Omen Hawk or like their uh, Thresh challenge my Omen Hawk? Do I have to stop that? Said Jawani this turn. All right, chat saying to play the Wild Claw and save Sejuani. Do we even want to go Sejuani next turn instead of Battle Fury? Probably. What are their answers to very large unit? So one, two, three, four. It's probably bad to just give them level up Thresh. <clears throat> I'm having, I don't want Wild Claw to go to four health, right? Because uh, Black Spear is their removal spell. So you you really want to play around Black Spear. So I was not, I was not even considering having either the four, like Wild Claw was not going to block a four power thing. That was not a consideration. So if they have Spirit Leech or Blighted Caretaker, that's that's the nightmare. You know, so those are things, or uh, you know, like the zero mana Ravenous Butcher, you know, like those kind of cards that just kill something and I can't respond because Thresh is at five out of six. If they have like one of those and then they have a second Thresh, right? Like so that's yeah, going culling, I get to respond to that. The question is what to respond to. We can keep them from drawing two cards by killing the Spiderling, but the safer play is just to kill the Thresh so that they can't just have another culling. That's the safer play. With the Culling Strike, the Thresh, they get to have both of those block these things, but that's okay. No, I'm going to go this way. I'm going to keep them from drawing the two cards. Oh, right. This just levels up that thing up anyway. <laughs> Whoops. All right, well, that's fine. I think we're going to be fine. There you are. I have one mana short from having Flash Freeze plus Wild Claw. So I'm going to play Tavern Keeper, and I'm not sure if I want to go with the Wild Claw healing or the Sejuani healing. 
The Wild Claw attacks for a whole lot more. But... I'll go with the set 20. Won't let it so like one a one damage thing would be able to kill either of these if they challenge them both. I'm just gonna entomb the Nasus, because this game should be over before it comes back. Instead of just flash free so they don't have that huge blocker. I'm just gonna entomb it. I'm planning on, you know, Battle Fury going for lethal this next turn. My see what we see. So So how do they stay alive? I'm not sure. That's how they stay alive. Okay, one on one. All right, Jarvan Chen. This is on my short list of things to ban. If it's not, you know, like if my opponent's not playing Lissandra Trundle, this is maybe the next deck. It's like Lissandra Trundle's number one, and then this and Aurelian Soul decks are number two and three for me. This is probably number two, and then Aurelian Soul decks number three. And then, like, the Marauders deck number four, probably. I guess it's just the Battle Fury and keeping everything else. I mean, I think I think the rest of these are, are going to be good. But... Yeah, so Corey, you're saying because of Double Vile for the last one? They had already played... They played two Vile Feasts already, so that unless they had Unspeakable Horror plus Vile... Trade Birds? Trade some hawks. Okay, the Yeti's gonna just I've got your back. just kind of chill over here. And while I could use Troll Chant to save Omen Hawk, Troll Chant is gonna be more valuable than Omen Hawk. The real question is, do I play Ruthless Raider and then Trapper? I think that answer is no. I think save I think Troll Chan is good enough that I'm saving the, the mana for Troll Chan. Cause like Shen is always the best card in this deck. It's the best card by a long ways. Like River Shaper is number two, but Shen's number one. If they play Shen this next turn Um I'm gonna want to Culling Strike it, and then you know, like I didn't know if they'd maybe have like mana if they would be able to sharp sight to save Shen from Culling Strike, then we'd be able to troll Chan. All right, so we'll take seven. This land is ours. I'm not super worried about my life total with this deck. My shield is yours. Looks like I'm ready. Bye-bye. So we got the deck with a lot of tasty fey folks. Protect and strike. Demacians, fight for your king. I'll take everything. So they'd have to have I mean I could I could use another troll chant than a calling strike. That's probably not worth it though. Let's just calling strike over here and do that. Go to seven. 
They'd have to have sharp sight to save uh, Jarvid if I did that. But yeah, so there we go. We got the sharp sight out of, out of their hand. And um, these other things die with a plus two anyway. Attack or play Wild Claw. It's a good open attack. <clears throat> you know, they can have cards like Repost, all that kind of stuff. They, like, they play all their barrier cards. I think I'm supposed to play Wild Claw. Two worlds, uh. one no Repost, please. <laughs> one more mana. You face a prince. Jarvin's at two. I think we just go for it. I think like they're planning on, let's see, blocking the 7-1 single combat fight the 8-3. Yeah, it could be concerted or concerted strike. I think this is worth it. There are a few cards that punish me for playing this. For sure. Basically the large units, right? Like Screeching Dragon. Wow. Yeah, I mean, no quarter. double concerted strike. That's pretty nice. All right, so it was worth playing the raider. I've got your back. All right, so that's their third bright steel protector. That level it up? No, three out of four. And it's just the exact wrong number, right? Like, if I play this, that's five health with tough, just barely dies. Alright, we need a unit. That is a unit. But it's not lethal. One mana short. We've had some... All three of these games have been very close and very good games. All three of them. Still go either way. For my father, the king. We go where the war mother beats. Okay, so it's not calling strike on top. Another fight spell. That's what they drew last... Turn. Looks like. Intruders, stay back. Yeah, just it, assuming this is a fight spell, it's just what's the best block. So, like, assuming I block here and then they fight, they single combat my Sejuani before damage. The palm before the storm. What's my play? Okay, it's not that. Yeah, it could be Golden Ages. Yeah, that's probably it. Because if it's not single combat there. Okay, it's Cataclysm. So that means there's gets a barrier. With me! Ours 
is but to do and die. With me! Stand and fight. Oh, we gotta attack. We can't just let them. We don't want to let them cataclysm. Okay. So close. We survive. All right, LeBlanc Marauders. Like I mentioned, this is deck number four on the ban list for me. But so, so a very good chance that we're going to be playing against it. I'm going to keep the Yeti in the opener, let it get the countdown started. I wonder if they could give, you know, like those um, landmarks have the keyword countdown. I wonder if Ancient Yeti should have that keyword countdown as well. Let's have some fun. Butcha. Crows will have one for that. Over there. We know they're going to have whatever protection spell as well. That's a good Ice Veil Archer. I mean, like, that's a good card. If it's a fight they want, save the homestead. Warm hearts and hot soup. What do we got here? Not and ready. All right, we have our own Ice Veil Archer. I'll just pass if they want to make this trade. Okay. I know I'm not using the Troll Chant right there, but I just traded my 155 for two Marauders. I think that's a pretty good trade. So open attack is going to be for 14. My attack gets better with Wild Claw, though. It's worth playing. Like, that's... Yeah, like, it's... This is a better attack for me. Now, is this worth a troll chant? Places to go, people to be. So they drew all three Legion Marauders. None of those were the strength in numbers. Faster than my arrow? I think not. Many tribes, one Freljord. Let's talk about your tab. Tread carefully. So Ash is at four. So that would give them the attack token. Many tribes under one banner will met. And that will do. All right, three and one. All right, Shivana, really in soul. So we've played against. 
my top five decks of banning <laughs> for for uh, the the tournament, all five of them. Uh, yeah, <laughs> what I mentioned before: um, Lasana Trundle number one, Shen Jarvan number two. Um, this deck, the I guess not the Thresh Nasus. Never mind. We we played against the top four because I'm not banning Thresh Nasus. Never mind. All right, but anyway, let's get to our game. I think we'll just keep Troll Chant and Mulligan the rest. No. Troll Chant's amazing, and I probably should be keeping it, but since I don't have any kind of units right now, I think I just have to send it back, because I can't really keep Troll Chant, and then we Mulligan into expensive cards, and then our Troll Chant can't really, you know, do anything, because all of our hands are really expensive. So we have to, you know, we have to look for our 1s our and 3s. Tournament is next Saturday. Right? Or no, it's... Yeah, this upcoming Saturday, uh, the 24th. Double Mountain Goat's a good, good strong opener. So I'm going to be playing Jar Jarvan Chen for sure, and I'm pretty set on Azir Nasus, you know, like Mono Shirima with um, Buried Sun Disc. But it's after that I'm not exactly sure. And so um, I've always liked these Sejuani Battle Fury decks, and so we're going to be playing three versions of that to start with today. We're playing five games with each version, starting with Avros and Fury here, but then we're going to be playing, uh, heading on over to... Shurima with Freljord and playing one with Renekton and one with Sivir. And then also considering playing a Shivana Dragon deck. My list is a little bit different from these popular Shivana Dragon decks, but like this kind of deck with these champions. Um, that's going to be our fourth deck today. But then, Or also considering playing Heimer, Zoe, Targon, PNZ. worked out really really well for me wasted eight mana on a card that does nothing yeah three sisters has been good and it's definitely been good it's been a good one of okay now the card does something so they still have an extra card in hand than i do plus a couple of gems I wish I could play both of these Yetis this turn, and then, you know, next turn just be able to untap with having Fury and stuff. I guess I play this one so I still have Fury of the North available. They're probably playing 8 8 Dragon. That'd be my guess. And then, no attacks. Work. 
So open attack, we have both Fury of the North and Battle Fury available. Very furious. Focus on me. Morning, take you. I'll lead with Fury of the North because that puts them at lethal. So yeah, hush, hush is a card. That's true. Concerted Strike also. Like that's Concerted Strike's the card I'm worried about more than Hush. Hush, you know, saves him for a turn, but because I could, I can Fury the Yeti and kill them. It is risky though. But they have a million cards over there, and we're in a risky business. So I'm gonna do it. There we go. It's a risky business. Gotta take him. Four and one. Okay, so I was really impressed here with this Averroes and Fury deck. Four and one against five awesome decks. All five of those are top tier decks that we certainly expect to play against a, a lot in the tournament. And even just like, as we talked about, like the the decks that I think are really, really good that are going to be like my number one band choices. Like, you know, the first four. Um, Thresh Nasus may be number five, so like maybe even like the, my top five band choices. So that was uh, pretty impressive to be able to go 4 1 through that gauntlet of very good decks. I think I, re I really liked our build here that Kordak made. I, I liked this. Um, the one Brittle Steel, one Three Sisters, both of those were very useful at different spots. The Brittle Steel really helped out in that Marauder matchup, um, but then Three Sisters really did a lot. It was it was a really nice one of. Um, and so I liked it. Uh, Culling Strike, also good, right? You know, like we have like Shen and, uh, you know, like we're, uh, at least we were able to target Shen. I don't, don't remember if we killed it, but, you know, Th Shen, Nasa, or sorry, Shen, Thresh. There are some really good um, targets for Culling Strike. Um, but yeah, this this top end of just, you know, Wild Claw, Sejuani, Yeti, Fury, all very good. Hearth Guard was okay. Wasn't like spectacular. I could see um playing a copy of like Trindamir over the third hearth guard right like i could see doing that um and having just you know the power of Trindamir, the how it's like hard to kill that thing at the top end as well i i could see doing that what is because it's okay but the you know with hearth guard not having overwhelm is pretty rough sometimes you can hit outright you have outriders hit hearth guard and you're just living the dream if that happens but Good list, good list. All right, so this was a, a very good Sejuani Battle Fury deck to start with. We got two more coming up. We're going to head on over to Shirima now and now play this same kind of deck with both um, uh, Sivir and uh, Renekton. One thing that I, I am kind of looking for is how good is Omenhawk. Omenhawk was great in those games. It really was. Omenhawk was an all-star. Um, so that's going to be good to note. With the Renekton and the Sivir version, um, since we're gonna, we won't be... Um, you know, we won't be going with the Allegiance card. One version with Renekton, we're going to try Omen Hawk, and with Sivir, we're going to try Dune Keeper, because that, that is something that I'm wondering what's the best one drop, either, either Omen Hawk or Dune Keeper for those games. But we'll try that out coming up next. Anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of this deck. Um, what what do you think uh, my lineup should be as we've talked about with these this video or what's your lineup going to be if you're playing in the tournament love to hear anything like that all right but thank you so much for watching some Avarose and fury and i'll see you for the next video